to this year's talent preliminary competition for Miss World Canada 2014. And if we could have everyone just get settled in their seats, because we're going to be starting in just a little bit. So, first off, how is everyone doing this lovely evening? Amazing, and uh, I'm looking forward to such an interesting and, of course, exciting, entertaining night tonight. And, of course, we're here to, and very honored to have our very distinguished judges on our judges panel today. Our first judge is Suki Cooler, and Suki is the regional manager of the First Canadian Barter Exchange, a company that helps local businesses trade the goods and services that they have for those in need. Our second judge joining us this evening is Miss Robin Reichman, who is born and raised in Texas. And she's a lovely Southern Belle who traded her country lifestyle for a new life in Vancouver 20 years ago. Dedicated mother of two daughters, inspirational public figure, entertainer, model, horse counsel, show jumper, and cast member on The Real Housewives of Vancouver, Miss Reichman is an advocate for local charities, including Variety's Children's Charity, and will proudly be supporting the SPCA through donations from profit sales of her company, Patrician. Hello, Miss Reichman! third judge is Holly Barkwell. Holly is an actress in the Vancouver film and TV industry, as well as a, as well as a mom to three beautiful children. Holly got her start in theater after being awarded a bursary scholarship in Saskatchewan at high school graduation to attend a French studies program in Quebec. She also enjoys working with her children. Hello, Holly. Our next judge with us today is Ray Fortaleza. Ray is the CEO of Ray Fort Media Group, which is a network of publications and TV shows. A former Olympian, Ray Fortaleza has had his own boxing victories in Montreal. He is also a humanitarian and a man of vision. Ray continues to provide opportunities for talents and communities to discover their potentials. Hello, Ray! Our last and fifth judge for tonight is Richard K. Wong. He is an honorary advisor for the Chinese Cultural Center, honorary chair for Vancouver Lunar Spring Festival, which attracts over 60,000 people annually, national chairman of World Chinese Business Association of Canada, raises training funds to support Patrick Chan, Canadian and world figure skating champion, member Ethno Business Council of BC, and previously was a member of the Premier's Advisory Committee. In 2012, Mr. Wong was also awarded the Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Medal. So hello, Mr. Wong. These lovely ladies are here to share their gifts with you all. And if you were here on Tuesday, we also had the swimsuit preview. And I hope to see all of you here today, and even your friends, your families, your neighbors, your neighbors' families, on Sunday at the Coronation Gala. Don't forget to come, and that will be, of course, at the Bell Performing Arts Center. Now, if you or someone you know has not had their tickets yet, or bought their tickets yet, they're still available at MissRollCanada.com, but be sure to get them right away because we are running out, because it's such an amazing event. And if someone you know can't make it, you can watch it on the live stream online, so details for that are also available if you check their website and also their Facebook page, Miss Roll Canada. Be sure to like it. Tonight is a night that women can express their talents, and the talent competition is something very close to my heart. It's a way for everyone to express their feelings and their passions in a way that can be loved and shared and most of all adored by all. So without further ado, let's proceed to tonight's talent preliminary competition. Our first performance will be contestant number 42, Pooja.
the show. I'm sure that you are all enjoying the evening, and I don't want to really delay the rest of our program, so we're going to proceed, and I bet the judges are having a hard time making their decisions already. But before we call on our next delegate and performer, it is my pride and honor to call on the man who is behind the success of Miss World Canada. This man sees behind the physical beauty because he knows that there is something more than what the eyes can see. There is something more valuable than that because beauty is not only in our thoughts, but also our actions, our commitment, and our dedication. It is empowering and it is also contagious. And that is why beauty is beauty with a purpose. So ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to call on today to speak with you, the chairman of Miss World Canada, Mr. Ideology. Did you write all these nice things? <laughs> this is Ria. How old do you think she is? 16. She has her own. She has her own TV show. She hosts the TV show. She's taking a major part in Miss World Canada as far as uh, on the stage, before the stage, on the 11th. She has been involved with all these preliminaries, and uh, on the day of the event, she'll be questioning, interviewing the 16 top contestants. So proud of you. You are a role model to all the young Canadians. I want, I want to say a long speech. I just want to thank you for being here and supporting this beautiful, I mean, pose that we have. And uh, you coming here today, I think you can, it reflects and you can see the girls are very happy. Right? How do you like the performances? I won't take any names, but I want to thank you again today, the huge volunteer team that we have. Some of them have been serving for the past few years and leaving their businesses, leaving everything on the side to come and make this happen. And this team of uh, 30 people, some of them are new, some of them have been there for three years, but I want to thank all of them for this wonderful work. I'm not saying this because I'm in front of the public here, but I'll tell you from the day that she came on board and took this title, she has been the most perfect ambassador. There has been one day where I had to go back and talk to her and said, oh Kamil, no, this is not right. <laughs> so she, she, she has been an exemplary uh, ambassador. Even for Canada, when she went to the world competition, there were 137 countries. She was placed 14, and that was the highest. <laughs> she made Canada proud, very proud. And this world is getting all this respect because we are a pageant that's different. We are philanthropic, and not just by, by saying philanthropic, but philanthropic and humanitarian. I just want to thank you again, everyone, for coming this evening. It's uh, my pleasure to be here and have this opportunity to work with the delegates throughout this week. Um, if you may or may, or may, or may not be aware, uh, I am producing the show this year as well as doing the choreography for the stage production. So I get to see the delegates on a daily basis for an extended period of time. And I can tell you that the, this year's contestants are working very, very hard to produce a very entertaining and lovely show for you all. As you have already witnessed, they are very talented, very dedicated, and I know they will do a great job on Sunday. So please um, help me in welcoming back Ria uh, to introduce the rest of our contestants. Thank you, and enjoy your evening. Before moving on to the rest of the program, I really want to say thank you, Ike, for the very kind message. And I, you've done so much for me, and I'm so honored and feel so blessed that I'm able to have this amazing opportunity and I feel like one of the luckiest, most blessed girls in the world, and my life has just been so amazing ever since I've met you and have been able to support Miss World Canada. So I just I want to thank you so much for, for all of that. And also Camille, I want to of course thank you for being another one of the most amazing role models I've ever had in my life. And 
I've only met Camille recently, but the thing with Camille is that despite her many amazing accomplishments, she is the most humble woman you will ever meet. She's such a wonderful lady and she's so graceful. She's not only an eloquent speaker, she's not only an inspiration to others, but also an amazing dancer. And for that, I love the fact that we're having more women like Camille in our world to look up to. So I couldn't be happier that our Miss Role Canada right now is Camille, so. Thank you. 